Well, good morning, uh, Dan. Uh, yes, I think uh, the OPEC uh, group is always looking at stability of supply more so than worried about seasonality in oil prices. Yes, it did come down, but we generally expect about this time of the year uh, demand to be a bit softer. Uh, prices do come down a little bit, then they pick up in the summer. So uh, rather than trying to chase prices around, I think uh, the stability of supply, trying to maintain a outlook that uh, consumers and producers alike can uh, uh, ad adhere to, uh, is the kind of uh, strategy that the minister has been talking about for a long time, and the rest of OPEC is going along with it. He did say very specifically, no change through the end of the year. So that should give everybody a lot of comfort in terms of supply. So, Dad, I wanted to ask you about the geopolitics as well. Of course, coming off the back of the Aramco results, the CEO, Armin Nasser, told me on Sunday's earnings call that this normalization deal between Saudi Arabia and Iran is going to result in less geopolitical tension. It's going to enhance regional stability, which he says will probably have a positive impact on the global market. What is your view on this diplomatic rapprochement, if you can even call it that? It's a lot bigger than oil, and it's it's far more uh, far-reaching in terms of the global economics. I think the important player here was China. China has uh, a strong dependence, very strong dependence on the energy supplies from the Arabian Gulf, both oil and gas, and it needs to find that supply uh, for the long term being stable. Saudi Arabia itself has global ambitions, economic ambitions, in terms of tourism, in terms of exports, diversification of the economy. So uh, I imagine that we would uh, obviously welcome stability in the region. Uh, the, let's face it, the European powers and, and uh, all the negotiations with, China, with uh, Iran did not go very far. So China's entry, it, it, I think, is a brilliant move. And, and our own uh, team that was negotiating, Dr. Aban, is a very experienced member of the Saudi uh, uh, higher echelon. So, so it was a very wise, long-term, visionary uh, negotiation.